Hi guys, in this video, we're going to be going over how you can design printout templates for different types of modules in EZO. So we're going to have a general walkthrough and it's going to help you figure out how to set them all up on your own. So to access printout templates, go into the navigation and more. Here we have printout templates. So there are two types of templates. One is the printout label, which is the barcode or QR code scanner that you're printing out and attaching to your items. We're going to be covering that in a separate video. For this video, we're going to be going over printout templates for carts, POs, and work orders. So let's go into carts. Let's start designing a new template. So a printout template is basically the format in which your carts, details, information, items, etc., are going to be printed onto whatever format or page size you want. So let's call this our test template. The layout's gonna be portrait because that's generally the standard printout template layout that's used. Page size can be anything. Let's say we want it to be A4 since we're gonna be printing on A4 paper. These are the margins. So the distance from the edges of the paper that you want to remain empty. And uh, these are the sections in the printout template. You can edit the sections of each printout template to suit your needs. So let's say we don't want the QR code of the cart to be here. We just want the company name or logo. You can define the dimensions. You have the cart number. Let's see if there's something else we can add. You can add the name of the customer, the job name, the image, the cart status, cart identification number. So basically anything relevant to your use case. The title of the printout template is free text. So whatever you write here is gonna appear on top of the cart. So let's say this, this is my cart. You can also stylize it, change the font, or change the alignment. Let's say I want it to be center aligned and have font of 15 pixels. All right. So these are the to and from dates. Again, you can remove everything and choose to have sections empty. Um, I'd like to keep this section for this demonstration. We have cart line items. So cart line items are basically all the items that are present in the cart. You can edit what information you're seeing relevant to the item. So let's say I want to see the cost of the item in the cart. I want to see the item's label in case I want to scan an item individually. Uh, you can also change the labels settings itself. So you can change the height of the label, the template that the, you're using for the label and the name of the label as well. So let's say we want the DHL supply chain label. All right. And then we have details after line items. This can be any kind of text that you want to write. Most people often enter terms and conditions or special instructions for the people who are handling the card printout. So that's another option. And we have the footer. You can always remove the footer that we provide um, and leave it empty. So the card printout template is again pretty simple. The data that's available and the sections in the printout templates will vary based on which modules printout template you're on. Purchase orders have their own printout templates and work orders have different information stacked up in their printout templates. So let's say we want to print out a cart as an example. Let's print out this cart and use the test template. This is the one that we've created currently. Yeah, so we're gonna save the cart's printout template over here and let's see how it appears once printed out. So over here, you can see the cart's printout template. You see the text, this is my cart, identification number. You also see the line items, which is the items present inside the cart. Interestingly, since this item did not have an, any AIN or asset identification number associated to it, you couldn't generate a barcode and the system informs you of that. The items of the cart had no cost, which is why the total cost price of the items is zero. Uh, this is just an example of a printout template uh, and you can explore the different types of modules that printout templates cover and customize them based on whatever your business requirements are. That's all for this video.